Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In the previous lectures, we have seen the definition of an open set, closed set, perfect set, bounded set, limit point, isolated point, and results relating to neighborhood and open set, neighborhood and limit point, all these things. In this lecture, we are going to see few examples of open sets, closed sets, bounded and perfect sets in R2. Here, the problem consider is we are going to collect some subsets of R2 under standard Euclidean metric. Okay. Under the standard Euclidean metric, we are going to examine whether the sets, the taken sets are closed, are open, are perfect, are boundedness. Okay. The first set that we are <coughs> going to collect is the set of all complex numbers such that absolute of z less than 1. Okay. We are going to collect these sets with this. Now, we will have to think for a moment and see what exactly the set is. Okay. Here, we are, it is said that we are going to collect a subset of R2, which means on a plane we are going to talk. Right. But the given set is in complex numbers. Okay. How are we going to convert these complex numbers into R2? That is so simple. We know that every complex number takes this form, okay, where x and y are real values. Instead of writing this in this form, we may collect this to be the R per x and y, where x and y are real values. Okay, it is given that absolute of z is less than 1. Absolute of z is nothing but it is under root x square plus y square whenever you write z as x plus i y. Therefore, it is the standard Euclidean metric and this is the point. Okay. Here it is given that so applying this condition from this what we are going to get is that absolute of x square plus y square less than 1. So from this we can see that this is a circle with radius 1 and origin as the center. So, let us see, draw a circle of that thing. Here, what are we considering? We are considering only the interior points of this circle. We are not going for the exterior points or the points on the boundary. We just consider only the interior points. Now, in order to check whether this is open and closed, in order to check all these things, first of all, let us see what is the neighborhood in R2 under this standard Euclidean metric. Okay. Whatever may be the point, okay, let me take a general point P with radius R. It is going to collect the points of this form such that if I okay, with this P takes the form P1, P2, this has to be less than R. Okay. When I apply this in the U uh, metric, we will have Right? So, it is going to, when we plot it in a diagrammatic form, we can see this. This is the circle with center P1, P2 and radius R. Okay. If we have something like this, suppose this P1, P2 may be a, anything. Okay. What happens, suppose my P is uh, 1, comma minus 2. Okay. Here it is going to be 1. Here it is going to be minus 2. So, this is going to be R center okay suppose r is equal to 2 r is equal to 2 in the sense we will have a circle of this sort okay only the interior points of this circle is going to be the neighborhood so whatever may be the radius and whatever may be the center it is going to be a circle only the interior of the circle is going to be the neighborhood in this case with this idea we will check whether the given set is open, closed, perfect and bounded. Okay. Let me erase this part. Okay. In order to check the openness, sorry, okay. First let us check the openness. In order to say this set is, this set is open for whatever may be the point that you take inside the circle, you will have to identify a neighborhood of this point. Okay. At least one neighborhood you have to identify such that that neighborhood is completely contained in this set. Okay. Even if you take a point very close to this, in the previous lecture I have uh, told you that you can always measure a distance of this point to the boundary and take 
the dist half of the distance to be the radius and find a neighborhood that the neighborhood is here is a circle okay that will be completely contained in this circle therefore you can come to the conclusion that all the points inside the circle are the interior points which means what your set is open here it is open okay now we will have to identify the limit points in order to identify the limit points also you are going to take a neighborhood here you will have to take all possible neighborhoods in all possible neighborhoods you must have at least one point of this set okay whatever may be the points that you take inside this circle you have the neighborhood of all these points is called there exists at least some neighborhood which is contained in it even if you take a very large radius you will you may have some points outside but there are many points inside that set therefore all your all your points inside the circle will be your limit points now let us examine uh, whenever you have these kind of cases you can examine the points on the boundary as well a point outside this boundary will not come will not be your limit point because this point and the boundary have some distance okay uh, even in between these two thing you have infinite number of points in your real line okay if i 0.1 and 0.2 may look closer but 0.11 0.111 0.1111 0 these things are different right so life is this is one kind of a thing in between i may choose this kind of thing as well okay likewise you can choose uh, when you just if you see in the ruler these points are very very close but inside that too you can find infinite number of points so a point of the sort may not be your limit point at all even if you check you just find this distance and take a half of it and find a neighborhood that neighborhood does not contain any point of this set therefore that is not a limit point so if you check the points on the boundary okay i choose a very very small radius and try to identify a neighborhood you will get few points of the set inside that neighborhood therefore you can come to the conclusion that the points on the boundary are also the limit points of the set okay in order to check whether the set is closed or not we must have all the limit points of that set must be a member of a set here the points on the boundary are being the limit points of the set but they are not members of the set therefore this set is not closed okay what is the definition of a perfect a perfect set is the set which is both closed and all the points of the set are limit points of the set in order to say it is closed limit points of that set has to be the members of a set here the points on the set, the points on the boundary are limit points but they are not members of a set therefore it is not closed when a set is not closed it cannot be perfect as well so this set is not perfect okay here whatever may be the point that you take on this circle okay this will satisfy this condition right even if you include the boundary points that also going to satisfy that condition it will be either smaller than or equals 1 therefore this set is a bounded one so the set what is the set that we consider we collected the set of complex numbers satisfying this condition this is open but not closed as well as not perfect and is bounded suppose let us take the same thing using the same argument what can you say here so you have included all the limit points inside it therefore the set becomes closed okay so here using the idea all the points inside the set are limit points the boundary points are also included therefore 
all the points in this set are limit points it satisfies both the condition to be a perfect therefore we can say this is perfect as well as this is bounded we will have to examine whether the set is open or not in order to say a set is open what should we do we have to identify a neighborhood some neighborhood of it which is completely contained in this the points on the interior of a circle are satisfying that condition what about the points on the boundary so if it is like this of course it will have some point outside the set as well so it cannot be open on the boundaries whatever may be the smallest neighborhood that you choose it contains some point outside the set as well so it cannot be open okay thank you for watching this video in the upcoming video we will continue with the same problem that is we are going to consider few more subsets of r2 and see what are all the things going on there if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section thank you